What's up everyone? It's your host Justin here. And today I'm here to tell you the machines are taking over the fitness world. Okay, okay, enough of the melodramatic stuff. In today's video, I'm gonna talk to you about exercise machines. If you've ever been to a modern gym, you've probably noticed that they are littered with exercise machines. And because there are so many exercise machines, that's what a lot of people are using for their workouts. I mean, if you think about it, it kind of makes sense. Machines are super easy to use, not intimidating, and they seem kind of high-tech and cool. Heck, we use machines for just about everything else in life. And boy, do we use some complicated-ass machines. So why not use machines for our workouts? The answer to that is because machines are not effective at developing real, practical strength. Oh, they're also terrible for movement pattern. Long story short, machines should not be the main course in your training program. Now hold up, let's think about this for a second. Take a look at this machine. It's a bicep curl machine. When would you ever lift something heavy with just your biceps while sitting down? Oh, I know. Probably Ever. Well, unless you've got a super heavy beer chug. Cheers. So if you're never going to be in that position in your life, why train like that? Why force yourself into this tiny, awkward position and then train a very specific muscle in a single plane of motion? And when I say single plane of motion, I mean you know, two-dimensional like this. I am a robot. See, here's the thing. You're made of more muscles than just the obvious stuff. Yeah, biceps, quads, glutes, abs, all the big stuff are all important. But you know what else is working in the background? Oh yeah, your stabilizer muscles. Hi Justin, it's your stabilizer muscles. We're working really hard right now to make sure you don't drop that weight and kill yourself. Yay! Well, that wasn't creepy at all. So let's say I bicep curl a free weight instead of using a machine. I've suddenly now got a whole bunch of other muscles working to keep the weight balanced. If you only train with exercise machine, you're gonna have really strong prime movers but really weak stabilizer muscles. And if that's the case, you won't have a lot of real practical strength because nothing in real life mimics the mechanics of a machine exercise. Think about when you pick something up in real life, like a really heavy suitcase. It's basically a free weight. So if being strong in real life means picking up free weights, what does this mean? It means that if you want to get strong, you're better off dishing the machines and sticking to your own body weight. FYI, when you do a body weight exercise, you're using your own body as a free weight, so it's still a free weight. Also, exercise machines are expensive as balls. Now with all that said, I am not the Donald Trump of exercise. All machines are terrible and bad for you. I know, I've pretty much been shitting on exercise machines this whole time. But there are times when using them isn't the worst idea in the universe. So I mentioned earlier that machine work should not be the main part of your workout. So as long as you've got that part covered with your free weights, there's really nothing wrong with blasting a few sets on the machine just as a supplement. I'm going to the beach later. What's up, dudes? Nothing wrong with blasting a few sets of machine bicep curls to get your pump going. Aw oh, yeah! Again, as long as machines are not the main focus and don't take away from your main lifts, you're all good. Oh, one final note, not all machines are created equal. If you really want to use a machine, use a cable machine. Why? Because cable machines at least force you to work in three dimensions, so you get to work your stabilizer muscle but they still put you in an awkward position, so you're still better off using free weights. So there you have it. Machines are not effective for building real, practical strength. Stick to free weights for that, kids. But it's okay to use machines as a supplement if you've already finished with your main lifts. All right, if you guys enjoyed this video, please like and comment, and most importantly, subscribe to the YouTube channel. More videos are in the works, so stay tuned.